I made a pros and cons of moving to Connecticut and a lot of people have seen it. They've subscribed to my channel. I've had people reach out who are relocating because they like how honest I was. And so I'm gonna give you a quick three pros and cons update for 2023, all about the pros and cons of moving to and living in Connecticut. Kadesha Thomas, I'm with EXP Realty. If this is your very first time to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you already haven't done so, so you don't miss any of my videos about Connecticut. I cover multiple counties here because I work in all of those counties. I am a born and raised New Yorker and I grew up in New York City and I moved here and I totally understand what it's like. So if you are relocating and you're not sure where to go, if you're relocating and you want to reach out to an agent who's actually relocated and knows what it really is like to do so, make sure that you text, call, email me. I'm definitely a texter, reach out to me. I'm going to be brutally honest with you because that's what I do. And so I'm just gonna get right into it. So pros and cons, of course, I'm gonna save the best for last. So watch the video to the end obviously One of the pros for living in the state of connecticut is there is a location for every lifestyle literally every type of lifestyle if you are single if you are a parent if you are with if you're single if you're a couple if you are with kids without kids if you are a multi-generational household if you are into uh, sports weekend warrior runner triathlete golfer I mean, weightlifter, you're into gyms, you are a hiker, you're a sailor, you are a boater, swimmer, whatever it is, there's something for you here. It doesn't seem like the kind of place where it would be because honestly, anytime you see anything about Connecticut in media, it's kind of very homogeneous and everything looks the same, but it's actually not like that. The state is more diverse in certain areas where people think that it is. Um, a lot of people have relocated here, especially since COVID. So you have this whole different kind of energy now. A lot of these towns that were everyone kind of looked alike or thought the same because of the mass exodus from New York City, they have all these different people in it now. So it's a lot more diverse and not just diverse racially, but also social, economic, and culturally. It's, there's a different kind of energy now because there's been a lot of movement and a lot of moving around. And because so many people can work from home or they only have to go in the city a little bit, a lot of people was like, all right, well, let me get a house. Like, let me not be on top of each other. And so that was definitely one of the pros that there is something for every single lifestyle. There's a kind of home for everyone. If you're moving here and you're kind of not sure or you have a lower budget, some people are looking at townhouses and condos because you don't have to worry about the roof and the entry level to get into a townhouse or condo is a lot more affordable. Actually, at this point, because of the rent in Connecticut, owning a townhouse or condo is cheaper. So one of the cons is the rent is like super high here. Like, I don't know what it's like in New York City now. Um, but rent here is high. It's so high that it's actually cheaper for people to own. That's how high rent can be. So instead of renting an office or renting or whatever to actually own a townhouse could be way cheaper. So rent's pretty high here. Um, and it seems like the cost keeps going up. So rent is definitely a con in terms of living or moving to Connecticut rent is pretty high and people will call me and be like oh do you have anything in this amount and honestly I, I mean just what I've seen and what people are comfortable with the areas where I work the average rent's like 2000 and up a month in the areas where I work in the areas where I will help renters out the average rent is two to three thousand a month and so renting is pretty expensive but you don't just have to rent an apartment you can rent a townhouse you can rent an entire house and so that is the other thing about it. So another good thing about Connecticut, we're gonna say it again, it's the weather. You're gonna get all four seasons. Sometimes I feel like we have eight seasons. And so you're gonna get winter, spring, summer, fall. If you want a serious winter, you can move north, you know, to the northern part of the state. If you want like a little bit of winter, you're gonna be closer to the coastline, but you're pretty much gonna go from super cold temps we hit like not single digits and then you're going to go all the way up to nice and hot 
I like the range. I don't like one kind of weather all the time. So if you like all of the seasons, then Connecticut is definitely gonna be the place for you. And then if I have to say a con of living in Connecticut is, uh, I mean, this is a personal preference, but the state in the winter, unless it has recently snowed, it's just not attractive. It doesn't really look good outside uh, from December until like March, the end of March. You're gonna get bare trees. It just looks barren. It's really cold out. It's just not a good look. And then you're gonna get extreme temps at some times and you're going to get a lot of snow and so a con would be like the weather can be super intense and it's just not really nice looking so i've had people reach out to me in like january february and they come to the state and they're like mm. but it's like but it doesn't look good then it looks really nice in april may and june you know what i mean like when it's the trees are out and it's beautiful or when the leaves are changing it's scenic it looks just like the pictures you know you go online and you look at the pictures those pictures are probably not edited that's what it looks like but you'll notice that when you look up pictures of connecticut you're going to see fresh snow and then you're going to see green because nobody takes pictures of connecticut in the winter when the snow is not fresh it doesn't look appealing not a good look so I'd have to say one of the cons is, you know, it's not that aesthetically pleasing for certain months of the year in certain areas for some people. Some people might not might like the look. I personally prefer it with the green or with the fresh snow. OK, so the pros are the location, right? Connecticut is close to a lot of places. We're obviously tri-state area, so we're close to New York. If you go straight up, you can hit Mass. If you go the other way, you are going to hit Rhode Island. So you are close to a lot of different areas. Um, our airports are also pretty easy to get to. So we have Hartford Airport, and it's really fast to go through Hartford Airport. Like my family flies in all the time and they're freaked out. Like we have to hurry up and get to the airport. And then when they get there, they're like, oh, I forgot your airport's small. It doesn't take that long. It doesn't. And Tweed Airport's even smaller. So like when it comes to location, like we're right in the middle of everything and our airports are pretty easy to get to and pretty easy to fly through. So that is a good thing. So a new pro slash con, because time will tell, is that cannabis recreational marijuana and cannabis is legal January 10th, 2023. We don't know how this is going to go down yet. <laughs> we don't know what will happen. And they have a hundred more plus stores opening. So some people are like, yay, I can just go to the store and get what I need. And some people are like, this is the devil. And so if you look up Connecticut, you're going to see different articles popping up. And if someone's relocating, they might be like, should I move into a town if they have that opening up? I mean, my personal thing is like, it's going to get taxed and your town is going to benefit from the taxes. So, <clears throat> but we'll see. But it's a big thing that's happening and it's definitely a change for the state where everything is usually gonna mm, mm, and this is just out in the open. So I guess that's in that pro slash con category. A new con is that our um, energy utility bills are rising and they seem to just be going up. So, you know, oil has always been expensive and now gas electric is going up, propane is cleaner and cheaper. And so just the cost of living here is let me see it is higher than the national average if the national average is 100 we're at like 104 um and so certain cities like if you move to stanford it's 12 percent higher than the state of connecticut but it's also cheaper than living in new york city or boston so i mean i think kind of anywhere you go people are going to complain about the cost of living because no one's rich and even rich people complain about the cost of living and so it's just it is what it is. It's rising utility rates that are a real concern for people. And that is what is also causing some people to want to move out of Connecticut. But it is there. And I told you, I'm going to be completely honest, good, bad, and ugly. So I had to bring it up. Okay, so a pro for the state, and I don't think a lot of people associate Connecticut with this, is that we're a coastal, we have a shoreline. So in at least three counties, we have towns and cities that are along the beach and i am such a fan of the beach and boardwalks and all along from greenwich all the way up to mystic you have all these different towns and there's some places like milford and west haven where you can or east haven 
Bramford where you can live on the beach or facing the beach and not have to pay a million dollars. And so people like that. <laughs> we like that we have the opportunity to be on the beach. We have public and private beaches. It's nice to be able to have the option of living on a coastal city, if that's your thing. For me, it was refreshing because I was coming from New York and everything was kind of enclosed in the inside. But one of my great de-stressors is to go for a run on the beach boardwalk or to go for a walk on the beach boardwalk. And so I personally consider it a pro and a lot of people who move from other cities, if they haven't had the opportunity, will pick a coastal town because they do like the option of being able to live close to the water or near the water. So I hope all this information helps. Um, I am putting the link to the original pros and cons video that's longer and it goes into more detail, but I wanted to give you a quick update on what things have changed and what hasn't changed in terms of the pros and cons of moving and relocating to Connecticut. If you are not sure on what area you want to live in, all you need to do is text, email, or call me if you're planning on moving soon and I will help you narrow down what county, what city slash town based on your location, lifestyle, and your financial situation so that we can find you the best place to live in this beautiful state.